too much TV too often. It stresses out our brains and it makes us get irritated and frustrated and we take it out on the wrong people in our lives and it makes us exhausted. So I highly recommend being more aware of how much you're taking in on digital content on Facebook and other uh, sites like Instagram and Twitter and all that other stuff. Our brains are very fragile, but they're very powerful at the same time. Uh, you know, human brain is still more powerful than any computer on the earth um, still. Um, because it's, our, our, you know, our, our brains work with vibrational frequencies. And when there's too much vibrational frequencies coming in and light from the, uh, uh, from the cell phones or the televisions, it's a sensory overload. And it makes us you know, stressed out and tired. And it makes the brain more exhausted. So when we pay more attention to being not on Facebook so often and other stuff, um, and putting a time cap on, you're going to feel a lot better and a lot more healthy. You know, the biggest obstacle to a lot of the things that we are our goals we have in life is our mind and our brains and getting past them because we can accomplish anything in this life. And I'm here to tell you this is, you know, it's all it's all about getting past our mind that's stopping us. Um, the, the, the actually something that's, you know, Wait with awareness, you know, with mind awareness, and realizing that mind is one of those things that we're like a lot of us are in, you know, uh, so you know, survival mode, and the mind is, is is made really to, as part of it, is to stop us from doing things that are dangerous or things that we think there that the mind thinks that we might not be able to accomplish or achieve and do, and so that's one thing that's always standing in the way with a lot of stuff that we try to, we want to accomplish in life and, uh, you know, take risks, let's say even starting a YouTube channel or doing something uh, in public in front of people or, you know, taking risks. So just to keep that in mind that your mind is kind of there as a barrier uh, at times to being able to try new things, get out and explore. And, uh, you know, the more, you know, you get out and you do stuff, the more stuff you try, it's going to help you with depression too. When you, it feels really good to be able to break barriers and to get over uh, obstacles that are holding you back or have been holding you back in life. Um, our minds, like I said, are one of those things that will hold us back. Uh, my mind, you know, held me back for years, um, especially when I dealt with uh, depression and, you know, and anxiety and, and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and, um, I also uh, I um, had I had some addictions in my past, and uh, I actually just gave up smoking cigarettes. Um, that was actually one of the hardest things I ever had to quit. But I did that because of mindfulness and meditation. Uh, the new thing out there is that's uh, definitely getting more popular. And I'm telling you right now, please take this seriously. Meditation changed my life. I do it every day. And it's, a, and it's one of those things, too, that deals with sensory overload or too much stress in life. Um, it's completely changed my life and changed the way I, I, I used to be. I'm a lot more loving, caring, understanding, and a lot more chiller than I used to be. Um, let go of all past resentments. Let go of peace. I don't, you know, think about or worry about what other people think anymore. I don't hold back, uh, you know, I don't judge people. And my life's a lot better and a lot more rich and, uh, you know, a lot more, you know, fruitful, a lot more happier. You know, when we get happy with ourselves, our lives change. Um, like, you know, the more we attract into our life, the better we feel and the more abundant our life's going to be. I mean, you know, and money and money is not by happiness. It's really important for people to realize out there that, you know, uh, you got to get happy with yourself and then other things will start to, you know, take off. You know, money is not going to make us happy. It's not, you know, about just waiting for to win the lottery or, you know, um, the, you know, the, or then we get money. That's when we can be happy or this and that. We can be happy starting today. It's, you know, it's all about how we think and perceive things, you know. And, and if I can do this, anyone can do this, you know. So, um uh, glad to be back. I'm going to start making videos again um, with myself and uh, for you. And uh, 
This is my uh, YouTube channel behind me, Power of the Mind with Derek Nickerson. And uh, I hope you enjoy the uh, video. And remember, the greatest obstacle in life is ourselves in our own minds. And once we get past them, things really are uh, spectacular. And you can do anything you put your mind to. Bye.